news would hit the feed this weekend, brought to you by Nokia, the humble carpenter's tool making beautiful music in New York this weekend. at the annual Musical Saw Festival. It used to be very popular up, up until World War II, but then it sort of almost disappeared, and today so many people don't even know that this art form exists. That's the feed for this Monday morning. I'm Erica Hill. For more stories, log on to cbsnews.com slash the feed, and I'll see you tomorrow morning on The Early Show. Thirty-two somewhat unorthodox musicians, whose instrument of choice is the carpenter's saw, got together for the 8th annual New York City Musical Saw Festival. Festival founder Natalia Saw Lady Peruse says people have been playing the saw for about 300 years. Today, so many people don't even know that this art form exists. So the festival aims to educate people about the existence of this instrument and to inspire people to maybe reach into their toolbox and fiddle with a saw themselves. And these cutting-edge musicians are a rare breed, with an estimated 1,000 musical saw players worldwide. Jeffrey Marsh's inspiration came from great chanteurs Marlene Dietrich. Everybody comes from their own angle. There are as many ways to play the saw as there are people who play it. It's inspiration like that which drives these musicians to be a cut above the rest. Tara Cleary, Reuters, New York. كأنه صوت مغنية أوبرالية أو صوت شبح. لكنه صادر عن آلة ليست موسيقية في الأساس بل من أدوات النجار Galbūt piuklas yra geriausia statybininkų draugas, bet Niorkė susirinkę muzikantai pademonstravo kitą neįprastą šio naudingo įrankio savybę. 